Hi everyone. Yes, don't adjust your computers. I'm back. So this is going to be episode number 99. There's probably going to be one a little bit later that says it's 99, but it's not. I actually recorded that one like months and months ago, but then my editor got screwed up. It was like cutting off the top half of the video and I tried to fix it or I tried to get another one from another computer or and tried to using it on a different computer and nothing seemed to work so I just deleted everything started from scratch and found an updated video editor that I can use it works and looks like things have been solved now so anyway yes so everything should be good now probably won't be able to record quite as much as I used to because you know, I'm still here, my dad's retired, and he's always around, and yada yada, and so like, uh, I don't really like doing this with people around because it just seems kind of odd to be sitting here talking to you guys while there's people roaming around and I'm saying stuff, and they're just like, okay, Serena has lost her mind, but, you know, whatever. So anyway, lots to talk about. Why was I gone? Editor was being stupid. New editor, new video going on. So I know I said in the, like a while ago that episode number 100 was going to be about the anime con. Well, it goes like this. I went to the anime con and I was going to panels and stuff just like normal and I had my mom's little Nikon camera which had a video feature on it. I went and bought like a 32 gig card so I'd have plenty plenty space and the thing cost me like fifty dollars so you know it wasn't cheap and then I didn't really get a whole lot of pictures and I didn't really get a whole lot of video I got a little bit of video of the cosplay chess match but that was about it because most of the time I was hanging out with this guy that I met named Drew and yeah I had lots of fun doing that and you know because he was doing bleach the first day and I was doing bleach the first day. He did bleach the second day. He was Byakuya Kuchiki while I was Super Sailor Saturn and so yeah. Anyway, I did get some shots and I'm hoping to probably put them up with episode number 101 because that's just the way it is and yeah. I did I, I am a failure. I admit, I'm a failure. I did not get anything done that I wanted to do. It was a nice experience, though. I, I stayed in a hotel, but the bed was not as comfortable as my bed at home. But that's to be expected. And, yeah, I had a lot of fun. Went to a lot of panels. The second day, I was doing Super Sailor Saturn. If you know who Super Sailor Saturn is, you know what, what she looks like. I mean... It, Google it if you don't know, or Bing it, or whatever you want to do. But, okay, so I got dressed in the hotel room, and I was going down to the convention center to do my thing, and called the elevator, walked in, and there was this, I don't know, probably, probably like early 30s, late 30s couple in there, and, you know, I just, I just walked in, we're in this really, like, you know, out there costume, I mean, no one has seen anything like this before and I was holding my glaive because I had it made which by the way that is why that's there little little battle scar from the construction of it but uh, yeah so I walked in and I'm just like taking the elevator and the, the woman just kind of looks me up and down and all of a sudden she's like well this is something that doesn't happen every day and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to the anime con. It's in the convention center. <laughs> and I told my friend Julie at work about it. And she's like, you should just, like, own it. You should just, like, walked in there and was like, sup. <laughs> Which would have been a lot, lot more interesting. But, you know, if they're on vacation, I'm sure they're going to have a story to tell when they come home. It's like, you'll never believe what walked in the elevator while we were heading down to the lobby. Oh, my God. <laughs> But before the end of the day, there, there was the, the cosplay contest, which I was in again this year. I was number 17. And, yeah, it was really fun. The only thing was, like, holding the glaive all day long got boring. So I just finally set it on the floor. And I was like, God, please, someone don't break this. But 
I actually did win an award. I won MC Choice, uh, the the woman that was doing the whole the whole announcements uh, on the contest. She actually liked my costume the best, so I got a little certificate. Which is too bad, though, because I can't get another one from that con because Sogan Con is being uh, disbanded, I guess. They're not going to have it next year, which really sucks because that was like my Christmas. I mean, I waited all year for that, and now it's not going to happen anymore. So what I'm going to have to do is go to other cons farther away, which is not going to be very good because I cannot take my glaive along on a plane. It doesn't, it doesn't come apart. I didn't, I wanted to construct it that way, but I didn't because I was pressed for time to get it done in time. And I really didn't know what I was doing and I didn't really want to help, like, you know, be whipping it around on stage and then like have it fall apart and be like, yeah, that's embarrassing. But anyway, yeah, so I don't know how I'm going to solve that problem. So I may just have to get mm, different costumes. I mean, I've been Sailor Saturn and then Super Sailor Saturn, so I don't know. Maybe the Sailor Saturn stuff is played. I don't know. But I want to improve my soy phone costume, and I want to get... Uh, I do want to get a different costume. I want to get Chun-Li. If you know who Chun-Li is, Street Fighter 2. I almost consider the first female at gaming, unless you count uh, Princess Peach, who's not a playable character, or Samus Aran from Metroid. It's kind of a big debate going on those. Who was the first female of gaming? I don't know, but wouldn't it be kind of cool to do a Princess Zelda? Because as you can see, I'm a huge, huge Zelda fan. So anyway, yeah, and then after the cosplay contest and after a couple more things, I went out and talked to one of the like drawing experts and then, then there was like this Taekwondo little demonstration going on in the corner, which I participated in because I'm a Taekwondo, obviously. So then there was a hail storm. It was like marble sized hail. And I'm like, oh, great, like the one day my car is out during the night and not in the garage and it hails. Great. But it didn't it didn't damage my car any. And then there was a rave, which everyone thinks is kind of lame now, but I've never been to one. So I wanted to go check it out. So I got Drew to come with me to the rave. And I'm thinking, OK, if he's with me and I look like I'm dancing with him, people will leave me alone. No, not quite. There was this guy who came around and was standing right next to me for like 20 minutes. And I thought he was part of the staff because he really wasn't doing anything. He wasn't dancing. He wasn't walking around. He was just standing right there. And so, you know, finally he comes up to me and I couldn't hear him because the music was so loud. And I thought he said, do you like the dance, the dance? And I'm like, yeah, because I was, I was having a good time. It was fun. What he actually said was, would you like to dance? I'm like, so after I said, yeah, like really enthusiastically, and then he points to the dance floor and was like, oh, crap. <laughs> well, there's no out of this now. So, yeah, I went and danced with him for like, oh, I don't know. It was like the song just would not end. It had to have been at least a half an hour. And then Drew decided that he was going to leave, but before he left, he wanted my number. So he finally came over and freed me, and we had to like leave the dance floor and go out in the hallway because it was really, really loud in the dance floor. I couldn't, have, couldn't have gave him my phone number at the dance. So we went to the hallway and yeah, where I got a drink because I hadn't had anything to drink all day, and but it was it was fun. I had a great time. And, um, uh, so I gave him my number and then I got a drink and the next day I didn't stay as long because there wasn't a lot of interesting panels and Drew wasn't going to show up and I was kind of hungry because I hadn't eaten in like 48 hours. So I kind of wanted to go home and get something to eat. And everyone's like, well, wasn't the food there? It's like, well, the first day they had grilled cheese sandwiches, but I've sort of developed a little bit of a lactose intolerance. So I wasn't sure if I should be eating anything with cheese. And the second day there was like nachos and stuff and again it's 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 a dairy product. I wasn't sure about it, so I didn't didn't eat anything then. 
You know, I'm just like, well, as long as I keep myself hydrated, I'm, I should be good. But, yeah. Oh, but that's about all I have to say about the con. Not sure what else has been going on. If you haven't, if you haven't noticed, I, I tried something new this time. I got false eyelashes on. Batting the eyelashes seductively once more. Yeah, it's, they're not done really well, but it's my first time. So if you're going to say anything, then, and you probably won't because of the comment section being stupid now. Yeah, keep that in mind. It's my first attempt. It's pretty good for my first attempt. I watched enough tutorials on YouTube to learn how to do it that I didn't think I'd be too bad at it. But yeah, it's, it's, it'll take some practice, so whatever. Oh, yeah, last night I had a call from my friend uh, Ellie, and I've mentioned her before in these videos about how we used to go snowboarding together. Well, she was on ski boards and I was on a snowboard, and how much fun it was, and regrettably we didn't spend as much time together as I would have liked because, you know, she was a senior when I met her, and like by the time we started hanging out, the year was already half over, and, you know, she was going away to college the next year, and... You know, I didn't get enough time to, to spend with her as I would have, but then I lost contact with her um, when she was in college. So she graduated from, from the college that she went to from, from high school, and then she went to another college and got a master's degree, and now she's in another college going for a freaking PhD. So it's like, holy crap. I had no idea. Well, I did know she was freaking genius because... She was in a college class. That's how I met her, and she was only in high school, and she was taking college courses, so obviously she was smart. But, yeah, so I finally looked her up, and I found her. I called her parents, like, a couple years ago and, and told them, you know, when she calls just whenever, because I'm sure they keep up their parents and stuff, tell her that I called and give her my phone number so she can call me and... When they did talk to her again, they just told her that I had called and, you know, they said, well, we, we you know, said, we weren't, yeah, you weren't here and I don't think it's a good idea for you to talk to that person anymore anyway. And she was just like, Jesus Christ, Mom, I'm freaking, you can't tell me who I can have in my life and who I can't. So, you know, I finally, finally, you know, I looked her up, got her email address, sent her some emails and like 15 emails later, she decided to call me because she was driving five hours or whatever, but whatever. But she was, but anyway, she was going to be in the car for a long time. And so she decided to, to call me while she was on the road. And yeah, we had a good long, hour long talk. And it was, oh, it was so great. She hasn't changed at all. Despite like all the 12 years that it's been, she really hasn't changed all that much. She's, she's, you know, after talking to her and, and, you know, listening to her and stuff, she, she seems a lot like I remember, but, you know, so we've had similar experiences. But anyway, yeah, that was awesome. That was like the best thing to happen to me in a long time. I was like waiting on pins and needles. I had to be the longest week of my life waiting for that day to get here because she told me a week in advance because, you know, she's like, I know it's kind of far away, but are you going to be free on this day at this time? Because I'm going to be driving somewhere, need someone to talk to. Because <sighs> until then, we were just emailing each other, which which was fine. But hearing someone's voice is a lot better. So, but anyway, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the only news that I have. Work is still horrible and people are leaving like one after the other. They made the most horrible, disgusting, despicable, worthless human being on the face of the earth the temporary assistant manager while the uh, actual manager is away for the armed forces and stuff. And yeah, we all hate her. And, and she went and got like one of our best people fired recently because he didn't show up on a Saturday, yet he's never, ever, ever been scheduled for a Saturday. So he didn't check the schedule, and he's not even available on Saturday because he had a different job to go to. But she's like, oh, he didn't show up before, and he's on probation, so we should fire him. So they did. 
So now we're even more shorthanded than before. And we're going to have another one leaving next month. And it's just like, we don't have enough people. Get us more people. We're supposed to have another one starting this week, but... The thing about new people is they have to be trained first, and that takes time. So until that time has gone by, sometimes they're more of a hindrance than a help. But anyway, hopefully things will, will go well. The supermarkets get hit really, really hard by Thanksgiving. There are people that come in there on Thanksgiving Day to buy stuff to make. It's like... Oh, look at that. So I'm going to make pumpkin pie. Ooh, look at that. I'm out of nutmeg. i got to get some more nutmeg. I didn't know I was out of nutmeg. <sighs> Go to the store. And they tell you, even the, even the freaking, like, head of the entire store told his wife, under no circumstances, are you to come in to the store on Thanksgiving Day? Don't do it. You will be, like, it's stupid. It is, it's swamped in there. It's a madhouse. She did. He saw her in there, and he's like, what are you doing? I told you not to come in here. And she's like, yeah, but I needed this, and I needed that. Which is what, like, everyone decides once they start cooking and realize they don't have this or that. I would like to get a turkey fryer this year and fry the turkey, but it's not going to happen. It's not real big in our family. Our family's not really close-knit, so usually it's just me and my mom and my dad, and that's just... That's Thanksgiving. We sit down and we have a, a modest meal with all the stuff, the turkey, the stuffing, the dressing. And you got your cranberries. I'm the only one that likes the cranberries, so whatever. Not the band. I'm talking about the food. And, you know, we have some yams and we have all, we have like some pie, but pumpkin pie usually isn't on the menu because pumpkin pie is one of those things like it's good the first time you have it in the year and after that you're just like, Pumpkin pie again. Whatever. So we usually have something like apple pie. It's a little bit more liked by the family. I guess I guess we don't have a lot of Australian and that's because Australians, man, they live for freaking pumpkin. They got like pumpkin soup and pumpkin scones and pumpkin this and pumpkin that. They like their pumpkin. It's good. I'll admit it, but it's not my favorite. If I have it once a year, that's enough. But anyway, so yeah, that's coming up. Hopefully I will get this edited and uploaded before Thanksgiving hits, but I don't know because I'm going to be busy. So anyway, I hope everyone enjoys the next episode. It's episode 100, not 99. It's going to be long. It's going to be long, so prepare yourself. It's going to be in several parts because I have a lot to discuss. So I hope that you prepare yourself for a very, very long episode. And this one's getting kind of long, too, but I've been gone for a long time, so I have a lot to cover. But anyway, check out the new the new shirt. It's, it's not silk, it's satin. But whatever. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Sorry I couldn't talk about more, but getting low on time here. So I will see everybody later. Bye-bye, everyone.